Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you the blending modes in Illustrator CC, um, you know, and what they look like. To open up the blending modes, you need to be using the transparency panel. To open that, you go to the top left corner, go to window, and go to transparency, and you'll get this box pop up. So the cool thing about this, you press the drop down menu, and you can see you get all your blending modes here. You know, normal, darken, multiply, color burn, all the way down to luminosity. And you can even edit the opacity on in this box by, you know, dropping this down and you can do it like this, or even type the amount like that. Type how much you want, press enter. So if I select this, you can see it drop the opacity and it's gonna de increase or decrease how much of the effect is gonna be applied. It makes it less, less or more transparent, which is pretty cool. So first up, we're gonna test all these with just a white background, then I'll show you with the, th the third color. So you can see here, the first one is just normal. And you can see I've got all these circles with just two colors to show you what it looks like. So normal does nothing, it just keeps the base colors as you picked it. And then the second one, we've got darken. So I've darkened um, all of the second circles on the right hand side are the ones with the effects on. And you can apply it to the bottom one as well, but you can see it will only work when you've got the something on top. You've got to have a, a color on top of it to make sure it's mixing. So darken pretty much, um, whichever dark part of it is darker, then that's what it's going to darken. So you can see it's overlapping and this color is a darker one. So it's darkened this one even more. Third is multiply. It multiplies the colors on top of each other. So you can see there, this one is a red. If I go choose the blue, there, and you see those colors there blending nicely. So that's multiply. Multiply is fun to add with, you're doing shadows for your illustrations. It works really well, even for logo design as well. Color burn, similar to multiply as well. But as you can see, it sort of darkens that area. Um, darkens that area there and it reflects the blend color. Pretty cool. This one is lighten. Um, lighten pretty much just makes this light spot here and it, whatever, whichever part is lighter, that's the resulting color. So it sort of makes it white as well. Similar thing with screen. Screen multiplies the inverse of the blend and base colors. So see there, similar effect. Color dodge. Color dodge sometimes works as well as well for highlights. You can see in this instance it's not working as well, but you can see if I change the colors, you can see what I mean. So we've got the blue there, yellow there. So it it brightens this middle this section here, the overlapping section, and then it um, also keeps this section light as well. That that color. Then we got overlay as well. Overlay multiplies the screen colors, and it depends on the base color. So it's going to overlay it. I'll experiment with these colors here. See what it looks like. Overlay is really good if you want to overlay it on overall on a finished artwork, illustration, or even a photograph. If you've got a photo uh, and you can overlay a color to try and give it that, you know, um, monotone look, which is pretty sweet. Then I've got soft light. Soft light darkens or lightens the colors depending on the blend color. And so you can see there. And then hard light is sort of a similar effect. Um, it multiplies or or screens the colors. So that's the effect you're gonna get with that. We've got difference and then we've got exclusion, which is similar. Exclusion has a little less more contrast apparently. And this one, sub and the difference subtracts the color. So you can see there, you're getting this black look. So if you play around, you can see there, it's just, that's what I was doing, subtracting there. This one is hue. So hue creates a resulting color with the luminance and saturation of the base color and the hue of the blend color. So you can see how it's mixing that and it's creating this, this hue. And because the blue is on top, it's gonna come up with that. So if I go this way, the red's on top now and you can see that hue, it's creating that, that lighter hue there. I put the blue back and that's what's gonna happen there. Saturation creates a resulting color with the luminance of the base color and the hue and saturation of the blend color. So it, it, that's what it does. Saturation's all right, I don't really use saturation much. Color is cool as well. Um, color creates a resulting color with the luminance of the base color and hue and saturation of the blend color. It also preserves gray levels in the artwork. Um, it's also useful for coloring monochrome artwork and for tinting color artwork. So if you have black and white illustration, um, 
you can just lay, literally just lay over a, a blue thing and it's going to color it the whole thing. And all the lights and the, the dark tones and the light tones will get colored, which is pretty useful. Then the last one is luminosity. I don't really use this one either. Um, it pretty much has a similar effect to the last three. Um, but you can see there what it looks like. So yeah, those are all the blending modes tested. And now I'll show you with the third color. So this um, nice, you know, tan cream color is on the bottom. I'll just move this back. Up here, and you can see there, it's all the same color. So you know, darken, multiply, etc., etc. So you can see what it looks like. I'm just gonna go through, so you can see the difference there. This one's screen, color dodge, overlay, soft light, hard light, difference, exclusion, and the rest here. So yeah, you can see the, the kind of effects and you can create really awesome effects. It's great for sh shading, for lighting and all sorts of type of things, um, you know. So it's good to learn these. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you found this useful. Um, if not, um, let me know what you want to see in the future. So yeah, appreciate your time guys and hope you guys enjoyed it.